Inside the stories that affect you. This is Inside Kelloland. Good evening and welcome to this special edition of Inside Kelloland as Sioux Falls prepares to host the Sanford International Golf Tournament. We're here at Minnehaha Country Club where crews are in the process of wrapping up a multi-million dollar renovation of the facility and greens. This is a time lapse of all the work done over the last few months from our Minnehaha Country Club Skycam. As you can see, crews have been working around the clock to get everything ready for the big golf tournament. From redesigning the inside of the country club to changing the entire golf course, this renovation was originally slated for next year, but when the Sanford International was announced, everything had to be moved up. And now, over the next few days, the country club and the city will be taken over by 78 golf pros as well as 60 to 80,000 spectators over the course of the week. Coming up on this special Inside Kelloland, we're showing you what it took to bring this national event here to Sioux Falls, as well as what you need to know before you head out to the golf course. Joining me now is Mickey Finn, the head PGA pro here at Minnehaha Country Club. And Mickey, with all the pro golfers coming in for this tournament, it's a course they've never played. How do they prepare and how do they attack a golf course that they've never set foot on? Well, I think the Monday and Tuesday practice rounds are going to be very important for them, as well as the pro-ams on Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, you'll see those guys hitting uh, two and three shots uh, from time to time in different areas that they think, because of wind, their, their clubs will actually put them into. Take us through what they would do out on the course during their practice rounds. What are they going to be looking for? What are the shots they're going to be hitting? Well, they'll, they will go to the landing areas, and then they'll, they'll say, well, I need to hit. I know with wind I'm going to have some shorter shots and some longer shots into the greens. Uh, as well as uh, traditionally, they'll, they'll putt to the pin that's already on the green, and then uh, what they'll do is they'll putt north, south, east, and west. They'll see how the ball breaks to the different quadrants. And then that kind of gives them a good understanding and also gives them a good idea of what spacing that uh, they have to concern themselves with on the greens. Now, of course, you're very familiar with this course before the renovation, after the renovation. How different is it, and uh, what are some of the significant changes? Well, I think the, the most significant change is, uh, one, our bunker drainage. Uh, we did that, so if we do have any inclement weather, we're not going to have any issues with water in the bunkers. Uh, number two, we added about 200 yards to the golf course. And it's, it's really going to make a difference. They're going to have to hit driver on a lot of holes where we used to hit three woods and hybrids. So main, main reason is uh, drivers, I think, is where you're going to see the guys having to hit them. As the head PGA pro here at the golf course, I'd imagine you're excited to see how these guys attack the golf course. I am. I'm, I'm very anxious. I know we've got some of our younger, better players that hit the ball pretty good, and so you see how they play the golf course. But at the same time, when you get guys at this level, uh, the, the original statement, they are good, or these guys are good, this is, they're the ones that invented that. So I, I'm very anxious to see what they do with the golf course. We've talked a little bit before about some of the individual players, uh, but John Daly definitely one of those players that the, the fans are going to flock to and want to see out on the golf course. How is he going to play this course different from some of the other pros, but just the members here at Minnehaha Country Club? Uh, different than the other guys, uh, he'll play a pretty similar game because he's playing a tournament. Uh, compared to the members, it's a whole different game, and I think that's one of the things that uh, is going to be the most exciting for our members when they're walking around the golf courses is watching the tour players, uh, not just John. I mean, he is going to have to step back his driver a little bit because of Skunk Creek going through the property. He can't always hit it over that. So um, I, I, I think the members will be, have a lot more fun watching th than the other guys uh, just because of how far he hits it and what these guys do with the golf course. How does this course compare to some of the other courses that are on the tour with the PGA Tour champions? Well, this course was built in 1922, so uh, most of the golf courses they're playing now are, you know, 90s, early 2000s, uh, a, kind of a this renaissance of, of golf courses, where this one is the original. This, this is, uh, William Langford did a great job with this in 1922, and uh, Pete Dye and all of those guys tried to make their golf courses today look like his. Weather definitely likely to play a factor. We're dealing with some wind here today. Uh, how much will weather play a factor, not necessarily even rain, but just with the wind and, and the overall conditions here in South Dakota? Well, I think the, the weather, like you said, we've got some wind today, which I hope we have during the tournament. Uh, but one of the things that uh, the wind really will do is it'll dry it out and it'll make the golf course much firmer and faster. 
Uh, so a lot of guys that don't hit it as far as daily will now be putting themselves into different positions. And we talked about, you know, how will they practice? Uh, if they see that the golf course is already starting to firm up and get a little bit fast, uh, they'll play a, a bunch of different shots to, to try and see what course is going to bring them. Coming up on our Kelloland Sports Special, Sanford International, we'll be talking about the signature holes out on the course. But if you were a fan and had to go to one hole to watch these guys play, where would you go out on the course? Oh, I'd probably go behind number 11. Uh, that would be my spot because I can watch them tee off on seven, six. You know, and it, it's just a great spot to be. All right, enjoy the tournament. All right, thank you very much for coming out. There you have it. That's Mickey Finn, the head PGA pro here at Minnehaha Country Club. We're just getting started with Inside Kelloland and taking a look at the Sanford International. We'll be right back. Hello, friends. Jim Nance of CBS Sports and a big greeting to everyone participating in the Sanford International, the best golf event perhaps this side of Augusta. I want to wish you guys great competition. Also want to send along my best wishes to our longtime teammates at Kelloland Television. CBS and Kelloland have teamed together for 65 years, bringing the audience there in that region many of the most exciting moments in sports and the best television shows on TV today. So here's to all of you. Have a wonderful time. Thanks for making CBS the most watched network and Kelloland the most watched station. Have a great event. Welcome back to this special edition of Inside Kelloland as we preview the Sanford International here at Minnehaha Country Club. The event is bringing in 78 pro golfers to Minnehaha Country Club with a $1.8 million purse and special Sanford International trophy up for grabs. Players will be practicing over the next few days before the first tee shot on Friday morning. Joining us now is tournament director Greg Conrad. And Greg, this is a huge golf tournament. But it's about more than golf. There's plenty to do out on the course over the course of the week. There is, Travis, and we're excited to have people here. This is really a celebration of Sioux Falls. This is really about bringing the community together. And oh, by the way, there happens to be a golf court, a golf tournament. Uh, but yeah, we have plenty going on. We have specialty food items. We've got plenty of places open to the public. We've got video screens all over the place, so there's no way you're going to miss your favorite football game. We're right in the middle of football season, so we'll have all the college football, all the pro football you want, and also we'll have golf, so you won't miss any of the action either on the regular tour or the Champions Tour. So plenty going on, plenty to see, and, uh, and even shopping. So we've got it all, I think. The tournament gets started on Friday, but there'll be no shortage of activities involving the players beginning on Wednesday. That's correct. So we play uh, what we call pro-ams on Wednesday and Thursday. So we're, between those two days, we'll have over 500 uh, golfers between amateurs and professionals. And it's really a chance for amateurs to play around the golf with a professional and see how good they really are. So we do that all day Wednesday, all day Thursday, sun up to sundown. It's a great opportunity for people in this community to find out you know, how good these guys really are. Plus, as a spectator, uh, tickets are a little less expensive, and it's a great time to get autographs, a great time to get pictures, a great time to chat with the players because they're not competing yet. So uh, we expect great weather, and we expect uh, uh, good crowds, and, and certainly we, we, we are ready to accommodate crowds with, with bleachers and all sorts of good stuff. Now, you haven't forgotten about the kids. The kids get involved on Saturday, and they get to get involved with one of the all-time greats in golf. That's right. So one of the coolest things about this week is the greatest golfer of all time, at least in my opinion, uh, <laughs> Jack Nicklaus will be here, and he's playing in a Legend Series event. Uh, he, Jack Nicklaus, Andy North, Graham Marsh, and Dave Stockton will be playing in a nine-hole exhibition match starting on Saturday at, at uh, 3.30 off the 10th tee. And then following that, uh, Jack and Andy thought it would be great if they did a clinic for the kids. So we're having anybody that's on property, anybody that's bought a ticket for Saturday, has admission and is registered for this clinic. The clinic will be on the driving range starting at 5.30. It'll be about an hour long. And a bonus on top of that, we're going we're gonna to feed the kids hot dogs and, and water and chips while supplies last. So it'll be a great day for the kids. And just so moms and dads know, earlier in the week, uh, Wednesday and Thursday, kids are free. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, kids, the tickets are $5. And you have access to the Sanford Children's Area uh, right over here behind us. Basically, it's an opportunity for kids to learn how to play golf. We'll have a petting zoo here. We'll have music. We'll have a craft area. So, so even for the little kids, there's something to do. But we can also teach them how to play golf, which will be fun. And as far as tickets go, there are still tickets available. But 
you want to get that taken care of. You really do. I, 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 it's, kind of, it's great. We uh, Just like volunteers, we sold out volunteers, and that was pretty exciting. We actually have a few venues, uh, many venues out here on the golf course that are sold out. But as far as the public asset access, we still have tickets available. You can go to Austad's or any high V store here locally and get actual commemorative tickets, and you can pick those up. Uh, and we have those, and, and I encourage you to do so in the event that we sell out. We are selling tickets a little bit faster than we anticipated, so we do expect to sell out later next week. And so we just want to make sure that you get your tickets ahead of time. We will have some tickets available at the door, but we don't want you to wait in line. We don't want you to get frustrated. We want you to just be able to take the ticket and come on in. So that would, that would be our suggestion. Now, once folks are on the golf course, they're ready to watch some golf, but getting here, mm -hmm. parking situation, explain that. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's a strange, right? It's not, it's not the usual <laughs> deal where you go in the parking lot, you go through the gate and you know, go to your seat and get a beer kind of thing. This is a little different. So we have all public parking will be at the WH Line Fairground, um, and that's right here on Kiwanis. Um, and it's about an eight to nine minute shuttle ride, but here's the deal. It's an air conditioned shuttle ride. It will drop you off right at the main entrance for spectators. So you will, I promise you, you will walk less if you go to the tournament parking lot rather than parking in some neighborhood around Minnehaha. So we, we, we've, uh, we really want you to use the parking lots we've set up and the parking is free. So we encourage you to do that. You're talking about an eight to nine minute shuttle ride and I promise you, you'll do less walking. Appreciate the time. Enjoy the tournament. Thanks, Travis. Great. Thanks for having me. You, absolutely. There's tournament director Greg Conrad, the Sanford International teeing off later this week right here at Minnehaha Country Club. When you're out here at the tournament, you'll notice a lot of local businesses like Flyboy Donuts and Fernson Brewing. Stensland Family Farms out of Larchwood, Iowa, will also be operating out on the course here at Minnehaha Country Club. Kelloland's Matt Holson recently caught up with the owners to see what you can expect to enjoy out here on the course. I'm Matt Holson here at Stensland Ice Cream Store. I'm joined by Leah Moeller. Now, we are talking about the signature ice cream for the Sanford International, and you guys are providing that. How exciting. Tell us a little bit about what's in it. It is a lemon cheesecake base ice cream with a vanilla cookie crumble and graham raspberry and blue raspberry swirl. It's pretty neat that they've asked different community members to take part in this golf tournament. How did you guys get asked? We were really excited. Um, they needed a dairy sponsor, so and we're a local company, so we decided to be providing cheese, milk, and various dairy products. And along with the signature ice cream, we're asked to do something a little bit different, especially for Sanford. So they had a couple rules, right? They needed a couple things in this ice cream. Is that right? Yep. Kid, adult, fr and adult friendly, um, along with the blue somehow incorporated. Now, when can people come and get this ice cream? You can obviously get it at the golf tournament, and you'll be able to get it at the store, right? Correct. It will be at the golf tournament during that whole week. Um, we will also have it here at the store in our dipping cabinet the same time as the Invitational. Very good. Looking forward to trying it, and I've heard that it's just amazing. And we will have much more coming up on the Sanford International a little bit later in the show. back to this special edition of Inside Kelloland as we preview the Sanford International Golf Tournament. The name is a familiar one to South Dakotans thanks to philanthropist T. Denny Sanford and Sanford Health. For many years, a health organization has been helping to boost sports in South Dakota. Joining us now is Mike Begeman, the Vice President of Public Affairs for Sanford Health. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Travis. Pleasure being here. What is the connection between Sanford Health and sports in South Dakota? You know, it's a good question. We've been involved, obviously, for a long time, whether it be on the youth sports side with a lot of the traditional sports that we all know and love here in our state, and, and also with the high school and college and universities connections that we do have through our orthopedic and sports medicine program. So with those, it was just a natural, and it kind of fit with our mission and the opportunity that we take to invest uh, not only in sports, but in other areas of the community as well. And, and sports seems to be the one that you and I are probably most familiar with. And, uh, and I've had a long history being a, a teacher and a coach in the community. So it, it's been a great fit, but it, uh, we're always looking for other opportunities. This is an event that's been a few years in the making, but how did this process start? You know, it actually started about two years ago with some conversations and just to kind of, you know, maybe 
try to step out of the box a little bit and to see if there was something else that we might be able to do to bring something to the community that, that wasn't already here. Uh, one of the areas that we like to invest in is in economic development portions of our communities that we serve. And, and so a golf tournament was something that we, we were talking about. Uh, look for an opportunity and uh, a couple of years ago and probably about 18 months ago we started the, the serious conversation as to what would fit, how we would go about getting one here and then how we'd have to sell it and, and promote it in the community. There's a lot of steps that go into a process like this. It just doesn't happen overnight when you're dealing with the PGA Tour and the PGA Tour champions. Uh, it helps to have a guy like Andy North and some of those folks involved in the process. Well, it certainly does, and it started with conversations between, obviously, Kelby Krabenhoff and Andy North go back to the days of uh, Wisconsin basketball when Joe was, was playing there, and Andy certainly was instrumental in kind of connecting us to the right folks, and, and ProLink Sports, for example, example was was a, an opportunity that came to us they kind of talked us through it walked us through it we visited with the senior tour folks in in Florida and before we knew it we really felt that you know what this is something that we could try to bring to the community and offer it up to the folks in this region uh, we don't have a real long window to play golf here but we certainly have an opportunity to bring a, an event like this that we've never seen before and uh, the way it looks uh, and hopefully the weather holds but it looks like the, the opportunity is going to bring out a lot of folks that like to watch golf. What kind of presence will Sanford Health ha have here at Minnehaha Country Club and for the Sanford International? Yeah, obviously we're the, the title sponsor. We've got a great partner in, in Cambria. They're the presenting sponsor and many, many other uh, businesses, not only in the community, but also outside of the community. We've got several folks along with Cambria that uh, came here to, to support this tournament from places in uh, Minneapolis and businesses like EMC. And of course, the, the folks of our community always support things that, that we all do here. We, we love to give back in this community, and this was an opportunity to take a look at something a little different. And of course, uh, the folks of Sioux Falls and our business community, the Chamber, um, all of the businesses that we know so well that have been our partners have certainly stepped up and helped us bring this to, to the presence that it is, and we couldn't do it without them. And I'd imagine this has to be a stepping stone in the process where this isn't the last big event that Sanford Health plans to bring to the city of Sioux Falls. Well, not at all. We've, we've been uh, doing this and bringing certain events, and obviously it's not all about us, but it's about the opportunities that we like to bring to the community and, and being the largest employer in the city and in the state. We feel it's an opportunity for us to, to give back. And obviously there is a charitable component to this tournament, like all PGA events have. Uh, this, there will be a charitable component for children's charities and our foundation. And we're looking forward to doing that because that's why we do this. We give back. Uh, I can't help but mention the many, many, almost a thousand volunteers from our community along with the business support. You can't do this without volunteers. And I'm so happy and so proud of our community, the way they've stepped up. Uh, Minnehaha Country Club, it's board, Dave Sweet. Uh, Ted Thee and all of his staff, and then ProLinks and their staff. Greg Conrad, who you'll you'll hear from, obviously, but um, so many people to thank. The ProLinks team have been great. We couldn't have done it without them, and um, I've been very lucky to be able to hang around and, and do some things and work with them through the process. Appreciate the time. Enjoy the tournament. Thank you, Travis. Looking forward to it. There you have it, Mike Begeman. It's all going on here this week at Minnehaha Country Club, the inaugural Sanford International. Inside Kettleland continues next. Welcome back to the special edition of Inside Kettleland at Minnehaha Country Club, site of the inaugural Sanford International. This tournament is also about giving back to the community. And joining us now is Bobby Tibbetts of the Sanford Health Foundation. Hi, Bobby. Hi, Travis. How are you? Doing just fine. Um, how important is it for a tournament like this to not only have a golf tournament, but to be able to give back to the community? It's incredibly important. I think when we talk about uh, a community event like this to know that dollars are going somewhere to impact patients and families uh, through the Sanford Health Foundation it's, it's really important 
Um, we are thrilled to be receiving the dollars from this uh, charity event and uh, we'll be directing those dollars to Sanford Children's here in Sioux Falls uh, and then globally through um, the work that's happening over in Ghana through our Sanford World Clinic initiative. When you're deciding where these funds, where the focus of these funds is going to be, how, how was that process and, and how did that work? Yeah, I mean, I think when it comes to events, uh, you always want to impact children and the youth. So um, that for us was easy. And then with a, a name like Sanford International, we wanted to bring the tie back to our initiative overseas. And World Clinic comes to mind. And I think when you talk about the impact, it's really vastly different between here locally in Sioux Falls and over in Ghana uh, through our World Clinic initiative. Um, here in Sioux Falls, we're impacting patients and families. And that's through equipment. Um, such as sleeper beds. I mean, you have children who are spending night after night in a hospital and a good night's sleep is really important to, to um, moms and dads and grandparents that are there. Um, direct patient assistance with meal vouchers and travel. Uh, we've got programs like Child Life and here in Sioux Falls we have 10 Child Life Specialists where these dollars are going to be going to help provide the service to those physicians that are working um, for these patients and then these Child Life uh, specialists that are working in tandem with these patient care. So huge impact here. And then overseas, uh, we're looking at common conditions like malnutrition and malaria um, and, and really, you know, wound care and uh, maternity care. So great impact through a great event. It's not all only about distributing the funds and distributing the money, but also getting the families and these kids involved in the tournament as well. Yeah, we uh, in the foundation get to meet a lot of the patients and the families and we know those that are receiving care at Sanford Children's and are benefiting firsthand from the impact to the foundation. So as we um, talk about this event, we've got patient care, uh, two children, Children's Miracle Network, who are going to be part of the opening so services with Andy North and to bring it full circle is just incredible. What's the timeline for distributing these funds and how will they be distributed? Yeah, that's a good question. So as soon as this tournament wraps and we understand what that dollar amount is, um, as soon as we have them, our patient care team can go to work at identifying the need and we can get those funds deployed as, as soon as we can. Appreciate the time. Enjoy the tournament. Thank you so much. We're looking forward to it. There you have it, Bobby Tibbetts with the Sanford Health Foundation. It's all part of the Sanford International here at Minnehaha Country Club. That's all the time we have for today. Be sure to catch the Kelloland Sports Special, Sanford International, tomorrow night at 6.30. We'll be live from the Minnehaha Country Club as the event kicks off, showing you which pro golfers are in town. We'll also take you on a tour of the new facility and show you which holes to watch closely during the tournament. Thank you for joining us on this special edition of Inside Kelloland.